Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the if-then-else statement to create formula expressions which evaluate a condition and then return an outcome based on whether or not the condition evaluated returns a true or false value. You can even nest multiple if-then-else statements together in order to test for multiple possible conditions. Note that it's important to remember that the results specified by the then and else lines of the expression must be of the same data type. In the if-then-else statement, you specify the condition to evaluate after the word if. If the condition evaluates as being true, then whatever condition is specified by the then aspect is returned by the statement and the else statement is ignored. Conversely, if the test returns a false value, the then statement is ignored and the else statement is evaluated. And this can be very important to remember when using multiple nested if statements to test for multiple conditions. For example, in our customer sales report, say that for each sale that we look at, it could fall within one of three categories. If the sale is less than or equal to 500, that's categorized as a bronze sale. A sale that is greater than or equal to $501 and less than or equal to $1,000 is a silver sale, and everything else would be gold. Well, first we would need to create a formula field which would evaluate the order amount displayed in the details section. So click on formula fields in the field explorer and then just click new. Let's give it a name. Like sales status. And click use editor. Here we then create the statement. So if and then a reference to the order amount if that is less than or equal to 500 then we want it to display the text value bronze else if, and then once again we evaluate the order amount field, if that is greater than or equal to 501 and order amount is also less than or equal to 1000, then we want silver as the text displayed. Else it should be gold. At this point you can check your syntax. There's no errors found and so we can save and close. Then we just need to add sales status to the details section. At this point, let's preview it. So first we're going to pick our parameter values to use. And the first value is 112002, and the last value being 49002. Then we'll add that in. Click OK to set our parameter values, and here we can see how much was sold for each one of these customers. The details then will be shown when we double click on one of the summary values. So here you can see the different order amounts and how we're categorizing them. So a gold, a bronze, two golds, and another bronze. Here we have a couple of silvers thrown in the mix.
Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.